another SOLIDWORKS tech tip. I'm going to create a sketch here and I'm just going to demonstrate uh, virtual sharp. So just to show you in case you don't know what a virtual sharp is, I'm going to sketch in a line here and I'm going to put in a fillet between these two, uh, these two lines. And you'll notice that my 75 millimeter dimension goes to this point here, which is what they call a virtual sharp, which is if this line were to continue onward and this line were to continue onward, it would be a, an intersection point between those, those two linears, linear edges. Now, that's an easy enough way to do it, but sometimes you don't have the luxury of being able to put in a fillet. Sometimes it happens after the fact. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So if I click here, click here, I'm going to go back and hover over that point so that I can make an arc. And I'm going to throw in my angular dimension of 45. But what you'll find is that if I, if I try and dimension from there to that virtual point, I, I can't pick it up. So up until now, I would select both of these lines and I'd go up here and create a point and that would give me a point here that I can add a dimension to and that point represents the virtual sharp so once again I'll go here that was 75 and this was 10 and now I've reproduced the same sketch now new in 20, 2014 I'm going to delete that there's a new way to do it so. add my 10 millimeter fillet dimension and the other thing I want to do is I'm going to add a dimension but what I'll do for this is I'm going to actually I'll move this up to the top so you can see my entire menu when I right click I have a new option here called find intersection so if I click on that then it'll let me pick a second line and this will automatically create that point for me so that I can just drop in my dimension and I can do all of that from my from my smart dimension command so I don't have to exit out and uh, sketch in a point